DMK leader Senthil Balaji has quit as Tamil Nadu minister eight months after his arrest by the ED. Balaji had been backed by Tamil Nadu minister, a uh, Tamil Nadu chief minister throughout the case against him. The government has now forwarded his resignation to the governor. Madhu Sharma joins us for more on this story. Madhu, what has prompted uh, Senthil Balaji to finally resign? Well, the Tamil Nadu minister, V. Senthil Balaji, tendered his resignation yesterday and uh, seven months after he was arrested and imprisoned by the enforcement directed in money laundering and job scam case and the move gained significance as Balaji prolonged legal battle and multiple bail pleas have largely remained futile, uh, raising questions of why he is still being re retained as a minister in the NK Stalin led government without any portfolio and uh, the office of the chief minister Stalin confirmed the submission of Balaji's resignation and that it was sent to the governor for approval and uh, uh, Balaji's resignation has just uh, has come just before the uh, Madras High Court. Uh, it's it's you know, slated to review his bail petitions and uh, Balaji's arrest was linked also linked to uh, purported cash <coughs> cash for jams uh, cash for scam uh, cash for jobs scam that occurred during his tenure as the transport minister from 2011 to 2015 in the cabinet led by the uh, late Jayalalitha, the then chief minister of Tamil Nadu. But before his, uh, before his arrest, the DMK leader held significant positions like managing electricity exercise prohibition portfolio. Despite Balaji's legal trouble, CM Stalin chose to keep him in the state cabinet without any specific responsibility and allocated his duties to other senior ministers. This move, however, did not quell the controversy surrounding uh, his continued cabinet membership while being imprisoned and uh, the case against Balaji involves allegations of corruption and illegal money transactions uh, in the recruitment process with the Metropolitan Transport Corporation. As yes, but throughout, uh, Madhu, uh, you know, this particular case, the CM has backed him. Uh, however, others continue to demand his resignation. Well, Uday, in this, sources close to Balaji have said the news is that the decision, uh, the decision to resign was uh, made independently, not on the demand of DMK leadership. In the, uh, in the initial days following his arrest, he was deeply upset due to the health problems, including undergoing open heart surgery. However, he is now in stable condition except for the health issue and medicine. Yes, no, but talking now, Madhu, Madhu, talking about uh, the storm that erupted when this case first came to light, the CM backed him, but others did not. Others had called for his resignation. Resignation, isn't it? Yes, very true. The others have called for his resignation because he was given a ministry without giving any portfolio, and the ministry which was given to uh, Balaji, the portfolio was, uh, you know, uh, managed by some other minister or some other person under him or as a co as a co you know, colleague minister of him. And uh, his bail plea was also uh, repeatedly rejected for two main reasons: his position in the cabinet and his brother, who has been evading the uh, enforcement directorate for several months. And uh, the issue of the of his cabinet position has been prominent, especially with the High Court also criticizing it. Therefore, uh, the decision yes. to resign was made by him, made by his own. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.